Hello, welcome back to my channel and my show Grub and Rub with King Tonto. I am super duper excited to be taking you on artful, deliciously plated meals while I have awesome educative discussion with my guests from different parts of life and all walks of life. For those of you who do not know me, I am King Tonto, the actress, the mother, the I said what I said king, uh-huh. I am a believer of God, a philanthropist, and now a YouTuber. Thank you very much for watching my show. For today's episode of Grub and Rob with King Tonto, we'll be talking about cosmetics. Yes, you heard me right, cosmetics, specifically perfumes. You know, people actually have this idea that perfumes are or the perfume industry is a woman's field. And also we'll be talking about how men are making, are breaking into the perfume industry and making so much impact and actually putting Nigeria on the map. So today's guest is none other than Mr. Wale Jana, and he is the CEO of Sapphire Scent. Sapphire Scent is actually one of Nigerians only and actually the best perfume house in the country. Mr. Wale Jana is a philanthropist, he's a businessman, he's a believer of God, and a, he is a perfumer. <laughs> so now, join me to welcome my guest, and as we are going to be talking about all of this beautiful and important information sharing with you we're doing that while we're having all of this beautiful food so today's food for grab and rub as you can see it's a whole platter like we have the hot dog here we have this beautiful oh my god this just come closer this beautiful oh my god this fruit salad is amazing because I, I don't think i want to eat it i just want to take it home so we're having that and we're having croissants and vegetables and we're having um sandwiches and oh my favorite pepper anything pepper i love it we have turkey and we have we have meat in sticks <laughs> okay so now welcome mr wale jenna thank you very much Grab and rub, Mr. Wale Jenna. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been amazing having you on set. My pleasure. Yeah. So, you, as the name goes, grub and rub. Yes. So, it means we were eating, having wait. a feast while wait. we are talking. So, don't do shakara for me. <laughs> we have to eat our food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's have like a minute or two to actually choose, select our food because our discussions are going to be amazing and intense. Okay. okay. So you can come put and see us. So, Mr. Wale, okay. I know it's ladies first, but I mean, you're my guest, so I don't want to be rude. <laughs> so please help yourself. Okay. Yes. I love stick meat. I'm going to have everything because I am uh -huh. hungry. You have everything to do too. I'm going to have some, some sandwich. Yeah. So, while we are digging in, I think I just better just start up, okay? All right. Um, would you start by actually just telling us? I mean, I know you, okay? And thousands and millions of people who are going to be watching this, not everybody would know you. So could you tell us about you? Introduce mm -hmm. yourself to us. Okay. Please, could you help me with this? All right. My name is Wale Aladijana, and um, I'm a perfumer, and I'm the CEO of Sapphire Group. Sapphire Group uh, is, a, is a company that specializes in uh, lifestyle products from perfumes, wristwatches, eyewear, jewelry, um, um, stylish home homeware, and a whole lot of, of others that we, you know, that we're kicking up very very soon. But I'm here today for Sapphire Sense, you know, and, and that's what we're talking about. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have actually um, uh, come across a bottle of Sapphire Sense perfume. It's amazing. They have over twelve. Yeah. About 12 different fragrances and it's beautiful. I, for one, I love the coffee. It's... <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Okay. So, I love to do this. Ah. I am, um, you know, I, I love my followers so much and I always love to allow them to take the first bite. Okay? okay. So, take the first bite. Take the first bite. Take the first bite. Take the first bite. <laughs> okay. So, now, here I go. Mmm. 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 
Let me not get carried away. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Wally, huh. could you please tell us? Sapphire Sand, it's, it's a unique name. Yeah. Your brand is unique. Mm. Can you tell us the inspiration behind Sapphire Sand? All right. Behind the name. Behind the name. Behind the culture. Right. Because Sapphire Sand do have a culture. Okay. And I do know that because I am one of the ambassadors. Yeah. <laughs> the senior prefect, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please tell us. Okay, so um, the name came from the Bible, actually. Mm. And there's a scripture in the Bible that is um, Isaiah 54, verse 11, which says, I will lay your foundation with sapphires. Mm. Yeah, so that's where the name came from. Wow. And it's actually talking about, you know, um, people that have been through a lot, right? And they are looking for a new start. And God said, you know what? This new start I'm giving you, I'm going to lay your foundation with sapphires. You know, sapphires are actually very precious stones mm. you know they are very strong very rare very precious stones and they always come in blue and some other colors that's why we do a lot of stuff in blue you know you can see the blue dots yeah. on the watches mm -hmm. on the jewelry so 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 yeah that's it that's where the name came from wow yeah that's amazing i, I never knew yeah <laughs> what part of the bible mm. and so i have 54 that's the name oh wow mm. oh, amazing. that's amazing okay <laughs> Okay, so you know how people actually just have this when you call perfumes, mm. it, 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 the name even sounds feminine. Mm -hmm. Okay, people just automat automatically just assume it's a feminine business or mm -hmm. it should be, or the world just see tag it as a feminine business. Mm -hmm. And as a man in this business, irrespective of how long you've started, this has been an amazing journey because mm -hmm. it's something that almost half of the world knows about Sapphire Scent. Mm -hmm. So your achievement with with um, um, Sapphire Scent as a man, mm -hmm. how easy or how how was it? Um, for me, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't a big deal to me because everything started like a joke. I'd always been a perfume person. You know, if nobody paid me for it, I would still make perfumes. So you know, um, it's a surprise to me, and it's also something that I just realized that you know what. If God gives you something, if he gives you a gift, he gives you, he just gives you. And God is not a local champion. Yeah. You know, it's a world-class gift. And, you know, for as long as I can remember, I just had a nose for perfumes. I could, I could, if I ever smell a perfume once, I can tell you, you know, anywhere in the world, if I ever smell the same smell, I'll be able to tell you exactly what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. It was just something I used to play with. I never thought it would come to anything. And, you know, I just began to play with my own perfumes. And, you know, you're just waking up, you are playing with this stuff, you're just doing your stuff. Two years, three years later, suddenly you go everywhere, people see you and they are pulling out bottles from their bag mm. of your perfumes, this and that, you know. So it's it's been it's been amazing. So the gift was actually what just paved the way, you know. Mm. So it means that perfume perf uh, perfumers are actually talented because mm -hmm. I, I've come into your office and I've seen how you set up, you're dedicated with your job. Absolutely. From bottling, you know, from mixing, from choosing your fragrance or choosing your ingredients to so your bottling, I have seen the process because I'm involved with the company. Mm -hmm. And one thing special about Sapphire Sense is that I didn't get to know about Sapphire Sense when I started working for you. Yeah. I got to know about mm. this music is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just I got to know about Sapphire Sense before. I said working for you. Yeah. It was and it was a, it was like a household name on Instagram on yeah. social media already. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm, a Nigerian perfume, really? You know, Nigerians in our head, we just feel like it once it's Nigerian, mm. once it's made in Nigeria, it's cheap. Or once it's a Nigerian name on it, it's cheap. Or mm. or once it's cheap, or once it's affordable, then it's not mm -hmm. original. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, I, I really commend um, Sapphire Sense. You guys are okay. really, really doing very well. And okay. the thing is that you're very outstanding. Like yeah. amongst, Sapphire Sense is not the only Nigerian perfume, Nigerian made in Nigerian perfume. It's not, yeah, so. not, the, it's not the only made in Nigerian perfume company. Yeah. There's so many. And yeah. you are outstanding. You're, yeah. From your advertisement to your, um, your publicity, aggressive, because it's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. You know, yeah. there's something unique about you. So what is it? That you're doing extra that makes you stand out from every other perfume brand in Nigeria because that's the truth. Sapphire Sense is like number one when you talk about 
Nigerian brands for perfume. Thank you, thank you. Um, you see, one of the things that I made up my mind to do is, and, and it's because of this thing that when people talk about made in Nigeria, people just have this impression that made in Nigeria means substandard or low quality or what, whatever it is. And you know, and we wanted to correct that notion because the, the truth is Nigerians are actually very, very classy, very, very stylish people. Mm -hmm. They are westernized. The average Nigerian is very stylish. The average Nigerian has been wearing a designer product for as long as they can remember. Either it's uh, a new or they bought it second hand or it's a replica. They just love the good things of life. So if you're targeting the Nigerian market and the African market, and then you make some, some standard stuff, you're not going to make money. So our strategy has always been to be able to give them the best quality at the best prices, you know, but at the same quality that they are used to, you know. Oh. You know so if you if you take my performance and take any of the big names all over the world and you put us together on the same table in terms of um, the sealage of the perfume, in terms of the packaging, you know, ours will stand out. Mm -hmm. Because I understand that that's where my strength is. I must be able to do better than the competition. So that, that's that's what we set out to do and oh, we doing it. That's amazing. By the way, Sapphire Scent is not just a Sapphire Group. It's not just a, um, embodied with only a, a Sapphire Scent company. Mm -hmm. We also have everything. As, in, as a matter of fact, in another two, three years, we walk into a, a supermarket or a mall and everything will be made from Sapphire Absolutely. Groups. Absolutely. I'll just show you one piece, okay? I'm introducing to you the new official Grub and Rub set. Um, cutlery set is super amazing. It's chic. <clears throat> okay. No, I don't want my food to mess okay, it. I don't want you to mess my food. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this cutlery is super amazing. Super, super amazing. Awesome. The mechanism, <laughs> the art, the luxury. Oh, no, don't go my food, please. <laughs> the luxury. It's just super amazing you can just imagine you having this in your dining set and we already have this so it's like the official right now my official so this this a set it comes with um a teaspoon it's just something different unique that you know that this is you and you can actually customize the family name behind which yeah, yeah that could be possible yeah. so it's really amazing so we have so many different products okay so many different products. So you can actually check their website or actually follow him on Instagram. Yeah. He's uh, on Instagram, Wally he's Jenna. at Walla Jenna. So mm -hmm. you can see almost all the products that he has. Uh, moving forward. You're not eating my food, though. No, no, you're not eating my food, though. You are going to pay me money. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to get into the more sensitive parts. Okay. Um, It's hard for me, but we we'll just have to. Because telling this story... It's encouraging someone out there. Mm. Someone out there needs to know this. Someone out there needs to know that business is not all smooth. Mm -hmm. Someone out there needs to know that you can rise and you can fall and you can pick up. And business is just all about learning and going forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. So recently, Mr. Wally Jenna, you actually came out on Instagram. I love the fact that you did this yourself and nobody did it for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's one thing I respect you for. Um, you came out on social media and you actually publicly declared that your company was actually facing a little bit of financial setback. Mm. Not difficulties, because I know that you're born again and you mm. don't believe in difficulties or going down. Mm. So, some sort of setback. And um, you talked about it. Mm. Um, and um, I don't want to dabble into it too yeah. much. I don't, I don't know how painful it is mm. for you. I don't know where the stage you are mm. at. But how do you intend to... Mm. And what do you think put you into that state mm. or that stage or that phase okay uh thank you thank you for this yes. um you see um one thing i'm learning you know one of the things you're learning about business is that um you're going to make mistakes you're going to make mistakes and um it's not going to be easy at times you know i, I think for us we've had a very good run this is going to be our fifth year you know, so for the past time. Um, so Sapphire is just five but, years. Yeah, we're going to be five. We're no, do you guys hear that? <laughs> so Fire Sense is just five years, and you've made over yeah. hundred hundred million dollars. Yeah. Because uh, we celebrated a yeah. hundred million dollars when we hit the mat. Yeah. So we're just five years, and I've been working for them for the past three years. Yeah. That's amazing. So I'm sorry to cut you short. Okay. Sorry. This is a very sensitive part, and I need you to hmm. to focus. Yeah. So you know. Um, 
So we've had a very good run, and um, I think, and all along, everything that we do the business on has been with short term money. You know, yes. six months, you know, people bring the money for six months, you turn over, you take your money, you go, you know. So, but along the line, we realized that, you know what, this short term stuff I don't really, really work for the longer. For instance, we began to move out of Nigeria to Ghana, to Abidjan, to the US, and, you know, a couple of challenges, you know, we're producing more stuff to be able to service this market. So short term wasn't just working any longer. And you had all these investors that invested for the short term. You know, we had other ways that we're planning to uh, sort this out so that people get their money on time without issues, but it didn't happen as fast as we thought it was gonna happen. You know? Coupled with um, the pandemic and everything going on. But good thing is that even right in the middle of the pandemic, you know, we came up with new products that's been, you know, doing very well in the market. So all of this is helping us go to make progress. Ninety five percent of businesses are shut down mm. right now. But yeah. we, you know, right even in the middle of the whole thing. Excuse me. Yeah. We went into sanitizers, went into face masks, we went into essential services that people are going to need at this time, you know. And um that is actually helping us a lot. So oh. um this challenge won't take long. It won't take long. I was going to ask you my next question, but it seems like you've actually answered it a little bit. Mm. I was going to say, you know, I for one, before, mm. but at the beginning of the pandemic, yeah. I told myself something that every the world is going down, the world is shutting down, mm. and businesses will be affected. Absolutely, a lot of great businesses will be affected. Absolutely. A lot of billionaires are going to deflate. Well, so many things are going to happen in the business world and the financial world that the world is going to stand still. Actually, mm. I feel like it's going to be the worst recession that we have ever seen. Mm. Now. I was going to ask you, how do you hope that your your company survives that? Mm. But you have just told yeah. me you have dabbled, you have you have dabbled into new things like yeah. the necessi necessary yeah. essentials of yeah. humans, smart which is do. smart thing to do. Is to diversify face, face masks, yeah, face mask, uh, sanitizers. sanitizers. Yes, I know you now. Well so you see, yeah. so that's one way. But could you share some more enlightenment on how? Yeah, you know, um, so. Another strategy is to push these products because this these are stuff that people are going to be needing every day. Yeah. Suddenly, sanitizers, you know, face masks have come mm. under hierarchy of needs now. It's now food, clothes, and shelter. Yeah. It's now one of those things that every home, everybody yeah. must need one. So the smart thing to do is to see how you can push that as fast as possible, and that's actually been happening. But uh, by predict the moment the restrictions are uh, are, are pushed out. It's gonna happen faster because you know the interstate lockdowns are everywhere. People can send stuff all over the place. But the moment we don't have that any longer, you know, um, that's just going to blow the market. Oh, I have no thank you very much, Mr. Wale Jenna. It's been an amazing, amazing time sitting down here with you and discussing with you, picking your brains, and knowing business, and actually knowing that you can actually the ups and downs in business, mm -hmm. and you, you can pick up again, and that's what we're going to. That's going to happen. Um, could you just have like a minute or two and just talk to the future perfumers? Mm. Talk to the next generation of perfumers. Uh, or someone who has been inspired to want to do this, mm. but maybe has the money but cannot, but cannot, don't, do not have the ideas to go about it. Mm. And another set of people who have the ideas, have all of this skills, have of this mm. talent, but do not have money to mm. go about it. Mm. What do you say to some someone like that? Okay, um, for the first set of people, you don't know how to go about it. Just start, just start. You know, I um, one thing that it's it's amazing that the, the thing that worked for me was I just decided to trust my nose. You know, mm. I just decided to, to trust the things that I could feel, the things that I could sense. I would look at okay, you know what, amber and vanilla should go together. Amber and vanilla should create something something new. And then you mix it two and you smell it and like mm, this is not bad. And people smell the same. They're like, oh my god, this is amazing. So you know, you must be confident. You must be confident about what you do. You must believe in what you do. Mm -hmm. If you cannot sell people on your dreams, you can't sell anything. Mm -hmm. But we are sold out on your dreams, you can't sell anybody. You know, that's why regardless of all our challenges, you know, I just I just believe in what I'm doing because I know that you know what I, I God gave this to me. You get and it's not a local gift, it's a global gift. So wherever I am in the world, this stands out. <clears throat> and for people, you know, you have all the ideas but you don't have money, my advice to you is this start with what you have, where you are. Start with what you have, where you are. The moment you start, you know, there's so much, there's a lot that can happen. You'll be shocked. You know, if somebody told me that, oh, Wally, you're going to use this, your nose, you know. I mean, before, before I started selling perfume, I was an assistant in the office. 
earning a hundred and thirty thousand, doing photocopy for people that are shaded. <laughs> I'm telling you, and, uh, and there was never a time that I didn't have a nose, right? So one day I decided to engage the same nose. nose you get, and my world just changed. So you use what you have. You know, so start with what you have, where yeah. you are, and you, you'll be amazed at what can happen. And there's a story. While reading um, the portfolio, or rather the biography of mm. Sapphire Sands, I did, I did realize that Sapphire Sands started with 50,000 naira. 30. Oh, 30,000 naira. 30, so it is now a multi-millionaire, multi-million dollars yeah. company that started with just 30,000 naira five years ago. Mm. So thank you very much, Mr. Wale Jenna, and thank you for watching Grub and Rub uh, with King Tonto. I hope you enjoyed this episode. So if you're a business person out there facing difficulties, you're not alone, every other person facing it, or some people are facing it, and the only truth is that you'll come out of it. So if you're a business person out there and you know that the pandemic has affected your business, just like Mr. Wally has told us, that you can actually create new ideas to fit the now necessity of humans, which is basically mm. food, which is basically so, sanitizers, shelter, health. Yeah. So you can actually double into so many things so that your company can actually grow. Thank you very much, Mr. Wally. Jenner. I do not take this for granted. I'm a, I'm a business person, so when I get to hear from another business-inclined mind, I actually grabbed, I have grabbed a lot, and I actually heard something you said now. You said that, um, well, yeah, 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 what did I say again? Uh, I can't remember, but something about what you have. Yeah, start with what you start have. With what you you, are. Start with what you have and where you are. So you do not have to go out of your means to start a creation that will take you to a multi-billionaire stage. So thank you very much, like I said, for watching Grab and Rob. And do not forget to subscribe on my channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. So thank you so much. I love you. And as always, my big lips will come true.